Hello to all of you fellow Scream fans out there. Welcome to another Scream 7 discussion episode from this channel and my word we have a lot to discuss today. From Scream 7 having a new director to more Melissa Barrera news, Scream 4's 4K remaster issues and an alleged release date for Scream 7. So rather than me rambling, let's just get straight into it. Firstly, I want to discuss the rumour that Scream 7 has indeed found its director. This information once again has come from Critical Overlord, who has a source that's, well, they're basically leaking tidbits of information to him. But this person has said that they have brought a new director on board. Now, if you're wondering why we haven't heard anything about this in the news or anywhere else, well, it's because Spyglass are allegedly protecting this director as they're afraid of the backlash they'll receive for accepting the job. That is the rumor basically in its entirety. Now, what I wanted to sort of say here is that I'm not sure what they're waiting for. No matter when they announce this new director, it's going to have an impact. So I'm just sort of trying to work out what the roadmap is. Are they expecting people to react less if it's announced next month or two months away or in the summer? Because I can guarantee people will still be caught up about this. So what I'm saying is rip the bandaid off now and take the criticism. It's going to happen unless those rumours about them hopefully resolving the situation with Melissa Barrera are true and they're playing for time to make sure they absolutely know what they're doing before they announce anything. Who knows at this point but it's just so hilarious how the backlash has them afraid to make a move because this could have been avoided if they hadn't fired her anyway. So moving along from this director news we also have Hayden Panettiere aka Kirby Reed, speaking out about Melissa Barrera's firing. When asked in an interview with The Messenger about what she thought about Melissa's firing, she said this. It was very unfair and upsetting. Melissa is such a badass as a human being and as an actress. She was hurt by it, but I think she took it in stride and was very, very gracious about it. So once again, we have more of Melissa's co-star speaking out in her favour. So what does this say for the future? The more of the actors who come speaking out in favour of Melissa, the more I feel they likely won't return. Now, Nev Campbell avoided specifically mentioning Melissa entirely as a sort of way of keeping her support open, but also not ruling out a return to the franchise. But it seems to me like the majority of these stars who support Melissa are actually really defending her. So how will their loyalty stand when Spyglass come calling for them to return for a sequel. Only time will tell, but I wouldn't be surprised if some of them decline to return. But despite their loyalty to Melissa, they also have a loyalty to their fan base, and I believe they'll favour the fans of their characters over their loyalty to Melissa. That's just how I think it's going to go. And I don't believe Melissa would advise them to just not return. But as I said, time will tell and we will see what happens. But as we pass on to the next category of news, there's also this glaring announcement from Fun World that Ghostface will return to Scream 7 in 2025. So we have an official release date right there. The reason why you should take this literally is because Fun World licensed the mask and they know the technicalities behind what Spyglass are planning. So they will absolutely know what is going on before anybody, as without acquiring that mask license, there's no ghost face, there's no movie. So they will bring us Scream 7 in 2025, no matter what, if Fun World are saying so. So we have that to run with. This movie is coming next year. So expect more news and more drama, you know, to unfold between now and then. Whatever release date they specifically go for there's going to be so much coming out between then and now isn't there i mean this could go on to be their most controversial movie yet and people thought three was pretty controversial you know with columbine and all that so this could really raise the stakes in controversy now moving away from scream 7 now i have some unfortunate news for those that collect the 4k remasters of the franchise now we've kind of had a scream 4k release every single year so far since scream 5 and last year we saw scream 3 hit stores now it was leaked last year that scream 4 was being remastered and they absolutely had intentions of removing that glossy filter 
in the process as they had the original prints handy to do so. Now what I'm hearing here is that they are struggling with this process of remastering 4, so much so the release may be delayed to 2025. I'm going to be honest here, I think this may be premeditated by Spyglass slash Paramount because I think they seem to want the movies released physically to coincide with the release of the movies in theatres. Now I know 3 came out last October so it kind of didn't come out with a movie being released but Scream 6 was so fresh in people's minds I think it would have sold well anyway and 2 was in between 2022 and Scream 6 so we're kind of now possibly waiting for 2025 to see Scream 4 be released in 4k and also waiting for Scream 7 so I think this is not a coincidence but that's just my take if they're struggling so much with this remaster as is being claimed then they need to work on a way to make it work because these movies deserve some love and 4 and its filter has drawn a very mixed reaction over the years so I don't know let's see how this unfolds. But that is pretty much the entire roundup of news. I told you there was loads to get through. So thank you if you managed to stay this long. If you did, please drop a like because it really helps out the channel. And I'd also really appreciate it if you could consider subscribing if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.